right, ladies and gentlemen, now today we are live, and this is going to be very unfamiliar territory. I feel like on the, the main account, this is kind of the point in Act 7, where I was like, I'm just, I'm not going to read the nodes, I'm just going to bring in Hercules and just face roll. Um, and I think that's exactly what we did for the completion of this one. I was looking at my can kill, dude, on the whale account, it was just sloppy, I didn't even learn the fight. Um, and today we're gonna have to learn the fight. I watched like Karate Mike's videos, MSD solos as well, and I think I got a pretty good idea of how to beat the Kang if we get to him, but there's still like a lot of stuff and a lot of paths I haven't necessarily been through or have that much experience on. So yeah, I need to find a way to navigate, and I thought, you know, we just, we jump in and kind of figure it out as we go along. However, I did spend 250 units last night. I did a little bit of testing with some of the new characters, um, we pulled, and I spent 250 units getting Gamora up, and hopefully today, and when we get to 7.4 Kang, you're, you're going to see why with Gamora, dude, but I tested that in Realm of Legends, uh, her saw on Enchantments last night, and dude, I was just loving Gamora after the buff, her buffs are like so much more easy to do without any synergy, because I think that was the problem like on the first like buff or two, is just, uh, unless you had synergy, she just didn't feel that viable to play, and she feels very viable by herself, hits like a truck, has a million buffs for all sorts of different nodes. Um, so yeah, and, and also like Gamora is a character we've never really ranked up for any account progression. So I thought she'd be like a, a fun one to take up on this one, just to, you know, make the roster a little bit different. Um, so yeah, you know, screw it, we're going for Gamora, boys, first off. Like, she felt like the right choice. Uh, the reason I didn't take Charles up, because I was a little bit tempted as well, is because the, um, the Mystic roster is still fairly stacked. Um, you know, we've got the Clairvoyant, we've got the Rintra, we've got the Longshot, like, I kind of got enough people up there for now, uh, whereas the Cosmic uh, cosmic Roster, 6-star, we didn't have anybody for the kind of Act 7, 8, Act 8 bonuses, so yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's crack on, shall we? And, uh, hopefully this first part today, because I, I did scout out the very first quest here, uh, once we get into this one... Um, he's gonna show you why we, we may have made the choice to, uh, rank up Gamora today, boys. Yeah, I, I have fought Kang on the Whale account, but I just, I face-rolled it with, uh, Hercules, so, um, I, I've never done the fight properly, so that's, uh, it's gonna be the, uh, the challenge today. Right, so we're getting Gamora for the majority of this path there, and, um, let's see how we do. Uh, I don't know actually if I want to bring in now, I'll be fine. We do have the uh, the Silver Centurion synergy as well, which is quite nice for Gamora, but we need to play around Paradox on this one. So I need to actually start off by getting several parries without Dexing before my buffs like even stay on the opponent. So now I want to go for parry combos. It's like if I have less than three and Dexing also removes them, so I kind of need to stay at this good uh, equilibrium with my buffs here. But if I get to 12 as well, uh, I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> Dude, look at that. It's magical. I need to heavy attack as well to get refreshing. But the ones at the start are always like slightly lower duration for the first 60 seconds. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's basically why I uh, ranked up Gamora, because we're going to have a lot of fights uh, moving forward that are very much like that. Like, she is just uh, one of the, the queens of being able to get a borderline, just ridiculous amount of buffs that is just absolutely absurd. There's so many node combinations. She actually has a really solid base kit of utility, even though she appears to be a little bit light. It's just like all of the buffs... Uh, do you do bring a lot to the table for her? Oh, okay, that was a bit of a cheeky one. The key to uh, being a Gamora pro, though, is getting those heavy counters in. Yeah, you know, we'll take that. Just casual. Dude, Honestly, like, testing her out yesterday, I was like, kind of her damage output is, like, it's, like, it's not that far <laughs> of being a Cosmic Ghost Rider. Granted, Cosmic Ghost Rider obviously gets into his uh, utility and um, rotation a bit quicker, plus he's got the immunities as well, but 
more. I don't know. She's putting in a little bit of work, boys. She's putting in a little bit of work. I was reading all the comments last night, and there were some Gamora maxis being like, seen you sleeping on Gamora. Like, I'll do some testing. I was like, damn. I'm, I'm asleep at the wheel, mate. For this one as well, we also do have, like, uh, what is it, 30% buff potency from the node as well. Good heavy counter opportunity there. I also need to make sure I don't get to um, 12 stacks of Paradox or I'm getting clamped. Oh no, okay, bit of a mistake. We still got Heimdall, worst case scenario. Bit of additional runaway there. Come on, let's go, let's get him! Oh, mate, we were well close there, well close. Another combo? Yeah, we got this. Oh, that is uh, some good combinations of these nodes today, lads. We're, we're doing all right, mate, we're doing all right. Yeah, I am uh, already very pleased with this rank up, eh? Uh, she's only rank two. I may, <laughs> I may take her to rank three on this account, though. Um, it's kind of between... A Gamora and a Hitmonkey for rank three, and I'm, I don't know, they're, they're both really good in their own way. It's like, do we want more immediate burst champions, or do we want that kind of bigger weapon of mass destruction that just ramps up and gets clap and pulls? So yeah, that's the uh, decision to make, um, really. I think for this next fight, I'm just going to try CGR on this node. I need to get, before I can uh, get any ramp up though, just a bit of safety, I need five parries for Paradox. Because if I start dexing as well, Psycho Man does have some stuff to dex here and there. Oh no, this is the really annoying um, red phase where it reduces my ability accuracy, so it just makes my stuff randomly fail. Uh, okay, I've got way too much power gain here. Um, how did I get all that additional power gain? Was that from Psycho Man? I don't think it was from the node itself. I'm a tad confused by that one. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly heavy attack there. Just reset the judgment loops. As we can see, man, if we were playing Gamora, the fight would have been over. <laughs> uh, clearly, CGR is just a bit of a filler champion. Bench option back up. Also, again, it is the uh, Act 7 node of getting a ton more um, attack. On my six star Gamora that just elevates her to a really, really nice level here. But even in Realm of Legends, dude, I was getting like uh, freaking 80 hit kills. I was like, ah, that's pretty good considering, you know, first like 50 hits are kind of ramping up. There we go. Budget Gamora got it done. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's not too bad. Yo, what's up, Dark Stank Dungeon? Thank you very much for the uh, the super chat, sir. I certainly do appreciate it. Hopefully you're doing well today. And Torpid, welcome to the live stream, man. Yes, he's using Gamora, dude. We've got Gamora's in the the main roster now. She's uh, she's there. She's pumping. She's doing well. But yeah, thank you very much, dude. Let's get you up there as our first blubbery as well. Um, let me see. If we can center this as well. A little bit, a little bit to the left, I think should be good. We've got Professor X up next. I think Professor X, um, we probably want to go for, um, what was it, Cosmic Ghost Rider again. Just the Gamora's a bit a bit low, because uh, I did accidentally take that special one to the face. Um, so, yeah. Plus, we can also counter the, uh, what was it, the friggin' invisibility on this. So, between these two... Should be a good time. I think we go for this. Actually, maybe I should have gone for the power game first. Because, yeah, the invis counter isn't needed for a minute. I'm getting way too much out of these power game buffs, man. My goodness. Yeah, every time we activate one, 
I think it's, is it like the increased buff potency for every buff I got? It's just like sending that one to a ridiculous level? I think it is. Oh, damn. Oh, I got too many Paradox charges there, and I was actually about to die. So I need to actually parry, because if I start hitting, I'm not going to strip all my buffs here. But Heimdall, absolute goat that he is. Dude, Heimdall's friggin' insane for this. Actually just prevented me getting one shot there. So yeah, I was like, why did that trigger? It was the Heim goat, man. He's He saved us. <laughs> right, well this kind of saved me from a special three. There we go, yeah. Nice. Activated the power gain, instantly dumped everything I had. Counter the miss here. Should be good. Oh, he's going to go into his, like, I'm going to spam special attacks until the cows come home phase. Well, until the cows come home, meaning by the time his uh, buff time runs. Right, I think I need to go for this, because there's invisibility. Oh no, is it already off cooldown? I've already used that. Okay, so let's go and trigger it. What is fall throughout the way? Visibility, man. I think I'm fine invisible woman this time. This is, uh... Definitely Professor X. Okay, I got enough charges that I'm not allowed to find my boss, which is great. Right, let's go in. Oh, no. I, oh, I didn't see the timer. I was looking at um, anything else there. Okay, we got the power gain. I guess it's the special two. Yeah, this fight's like so weird with Cosmo Ghost Rider. I'm just, just not used to... Um... Okay, we should be good. Wait, I swear we had the miss counter on us there. What? I thought I still had that active. Oh, because my Paradox charges went down, it then removed the miss counter because they dropped below three. So yeah, that's what happened there. So I think we just evaded something and then went in. And then I dropped my miss counter for that one. Ah, oh, yeah. There's a lot, a lot going on in these Paradox fights, man. It certainly is. Okay. Um, <laughs> next fight. Right, we got Guillotine 2099. Mm, I think we try a cheeky bit of Gamora here. Should be should be alright. We'll see what happens. Oh, dude. Let me have a look. Uh, will I do be, be doing any more content? Sorry, I lost the ability to say words there. <laughs> will I be doing any more content for seeing Man of Poor Life Decisions? Um, probably not, my friend. You know, I decided um, kind of after that trip, like... Uh, IRL vlogging really isn't my thing, thing, unfortunately. I like to kind of just disconnect from, um, you know, having a walking around with like a camera in my face. So yeah, I, I tried it out, you know, but not really my cup of tea. I prefer the kind of YouTube content where I'm, you know, indoors, uh, playing video games and just chatting a copious amount of shit. So that's what uh, I've been enjoying. Oh, dude, I'm I'm a, a absolutely rinsed here, potentially. Should have gone on straight for a heavy attack. Uh, also, if I get one more parry, I'm rinsed as well. So I need to get some evades. Okay, nice. And it's eight buffs, I think, to uh, for Gamora to avoid uh, invisibility. I have literally no parry left in me, dude.
Oh no, because I haven't parried as well, I've lost my stacks. <laughs> so now I can't deal any damage. Uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I've got, I just had a bad start there. I wasn't, my head wasn't like fully in the game. Um, but yeah, that was, oh dude, yeah. I felt like I kind of got into uh, uh, the OP state at the end, but I just could not, um, could not get the focus back. Yeah, it was just Paradox uh, and running out of health there was unfortunately uh, the cause of my downfall. But good morning, did, did well. She took a good chunk out of this defender. I actually need uh, a parry here. Let's go parry heavy attack. Reset that. We got four stacks of Paradox. We don't want to drop below three. So we're getting clapped. Okay, that should do it. Nice. Right, Guillotine is is down. She's gone. In the bin. I think Gamora did uh, did work there. I do think uh, on her fight, she did outperform CGR a fair bit, but also CGR's a bit, a bit tricky today uh, to play on this one. Plus, you know, six-star advantage as well is pretty significant. Um, Right, I think uh, Red Goblin's the easiest, right? Yeah, we should be good. Uh, we can't incinerate him. But is there, are there any good sub outs here? I didn't think anything. I'll, I'll just quickly check my roster. Maybe like Hitmonkey for Rintra. Um, not a bad one. Could be fun. Now, I'm a little bit tempted for that. Right, let's go character select here. Uh, I started a free to play account a couple of weeks ago and we got my first six star today. It was OG Abomination. I've now lost all motivation to play that account. Once you get to the point where you start getting your first um, uh, six stars, though, my friend, it then becomes very, very easy uh, to get a lot more uh, six stars. And Abomination, if you do get the Red Guardian synergy, although at the time he feels like a bit of an owl, there's, there is a lot of stuff you can use that Abomination for. Um, especially, as I'm reminded, actually, moving into Act 7, there's, like, friggin' poison nodes everywhere. So, you know, the Abomination, at the time, it feels like a bit of an L. It's kind of weird, like, going back, because there are all sorts of, like, synergies and champions that you can pull that make, like, a really bad champion just turn into, like, a colossal, colossal win. Um, so, yeah, I just, uh, just, just keep going, my friend. Just keep going. They're going to be good champions. They're going to be bad ones. I remember on most of my early free-to-plays, like the first six stars were of the quality of like pre-buff Rocket Raccoon and Deadpool X-Force and um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, th this game has no shortage of um, just absolutely shafting you and killing all your all of your motivation to play at certain points. That's, uh, that's for sure. Domino or Black Widow Clairvoyant? I would say if you've still got a lot of content to uh, what does it get through? Um, it's almost certainly. Actually, is Rintra going to be good here, or is he going to be clapped? I'm just thinking, like, does he maybe go a bit too um, hard? Oh, okay, right. We just about got that off. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we chill him, we chill him. As long as I got a stagger as well, I fully counter the uh, the fury node that's going on here, so that's perfect. I'm going to need to pause those and then probably pause them again. I don't know if this will push special three. Even if it does, we can survive it, I think. <laughs> oh, dude, Richard Souls. Okay, right. I think we're still rooted in the spot for this. Or does this um, this actually might be unroot us? Okay, do we get one shot and then immediately brought back to life? However, those incinerates still really hurt. So maybe we die from those. Let's go, Rincher. Oh, 100k. Dude, we'll take it. We'll take it, mate. 
I mean, this is probably my favourite Act 7 fight with Rintra so far. He's he's definitely put in a really, really solid amount of work against that Red Goblin boss. Um, pretty much done the job there. We've got like a, a couple more big crits on those special twos. We would have been uh, sailing there. Rincher though, sometimes you just gotta be gotta be aggressive, man. You gotta go for that gamble. I think as well, Rincher probably feels like a different champion to play, uh, with both Mystic Dispersion and also his awakened ability. Like, the power gain just seems ridiculous then. And that's one of the things, like, I don't have either of those on the free-to-play. But even on Awaken, man, he's still, uh, he's still getting the job done. Yeah, that's sometimes what you need, eh? Right, we got one down, lads. Uh, so we're, we're a little bit closer to uh, getting that getting that Kang. Get play next to see, uh See where we go. Yeah, Neutralizer was really good there. I thought because there were, like, multiple uh, buffs coming up that it wouldn't grab all of them. Uh, but it did, so it's pretty good. Worked out really nice. Just completely got rid of uh, any threat from that Fury node. Okay, I think there's one path here. Um, which is like a cosmic path. Um, is it this one? Oh, buffed up. That's it. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, this is this is looking good. This is looking good. We got paradox breakdown. So if we ever get twelve or more paradox ones, okay. Um, I don't think there's a core paradox thing here, right? I mean, this this is looking like one hell of a Gamora path, bro. Um, that's all I'm seeing at the moment. And then who's the the easiest boss? Is it Immortal Hulk here? Do not go gentle, every blow heavy, high energy giant, aggressive. I think Hitmonkey could fairly easily get that fight down. Um, and then what does Old Man Logan do? Lazarus, arrogance. Yeah, I'm gonna I think we just go for Immortal Hulk. What's chat saying? What do you think is the easiest boss there? I think I think it's probably that Immortal Hulk or Hitmonkey. And I think if we take this path to Gamora, I don't think it's gonna be a good time. I just had a look at uh I had a rough look at MCOC noobs' uh, suggestions, but I don't have like a um, good option. I think for the next one, these uh, these teleporters are relentlessly un unintuitive <laughs> as to where they go. Um, okay, so we're on uh, uh Black Widow Clairvoyant. Is actually, I don't think there's really any fight we're going to be using her on, right? On a buffed up note. Um, so yeah, maybe she just gets benched here. I uh, can't really see myself even using her for the final boss, to be fair. So, yeah, I think maybe we just get Silver Centurion, because then we can start with uh, the... Well, we get the Gamora synergy, dude. The Silver Centurion or Guillotine 2099 synergy with Gamora is, is really nice. Again, I wanted to show you that first quest uh, without it. And then we got it with now, so should be fun. What are we saying, I Hulk? Yeah. I was, I was thinking as well. Do I awaken five star human torch or Iceman? Um, well, Iceman's getting a buff. We don't know how good that buff's going to be, but Torch is—I mean, he's stupidly OP. But doesn't really need that awakened ability unless you want to do a bit with him. So yeah, it's, it's kind of up to you. Um, yeah, Torch kind of got the uh, got the the source of most nice stuff you need him, even unawakened. So. There is that. Dude, I think I cheesed this path the first time I did it with um, my Glamour on the main account, and now she she's been buffed up. So this should be quite fun. Once we get to that special too. Yeah, I mean that seems that seems viable.
<laughs> yeah, she just hit like a train on this one, dude. Um, loving it. Absolutely loving it. And then let's move on to uh, Jubilee. I don't think there's anything that she's pretty much not going to cheese on this path. So yeah, let's just uh, let's do it. Guys, I need somebody... I need chat's help today. Because again, I'm a bit of a noob trying to figure this out. In the next quest, what do you think is the best path to take for my team and roster? Um, I'll be trying to look up when I can in chat just to uh, see suggestions and stuff. But yeah, if you guys... The big... The Giga Brains in chat. Uh, the MCOC encyclopedias could suggest a path that they think is going to be the easiest because I've done uh, pretty much no proper research. I was kind of looking, there was like a power shield path that MCOC noob suggested, but it's got like friggin' Corgan thing on. I'm like, ah, I don't want to avoid that one. <laughs> I think I probably could do it with Black Widow Clairvoyant, but I'm just wondering if there's like an easier one out there. Oh no, I didn't know she shot toward me. Like uh, a thing. Okay. Yikes. A bit bit of a dent in the old uh, Gamora here, but we're we're chucking on with pushing forward. We gotta use uh, some revives, we we gotta use them, but should be okay. Um I don't wanna heal up a bit for Hulk Buster. Uh get Gamora top top. Actually I have a load of 5k potions. I'm gonna have to bring a yeah, I'm gonna chuck four of those in. And then I'm not going to take a special two to the face, is the other plan. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm still majorly overflowing on the 15% health boosters as well. It's so freaking easy to buy. I've just been using like all my alliance stuff, man. Just boosters. <laughs> oh, you can also use a, uh, what is it? Freaking uh, cosmic power booster here to uh, make it even more cheesy. I think I want to race to a special two here if I can. And try and... Um, Armor break Hulk Buster before he shocks me again, but I think he's still going to do that. Okay, I'll use the special to, like... Right, so the next one's coming if I can. Actually, uh, we'll go for it here. Yeah, I should have just waited another combo. It's <laughs> alright, we'll take a bit more shock damage. But this is, like, the main um, fun and interactive damage that I did not have. An immediate counter for. There we go. Maybe should have stuck in a few more heavies there, but I like the node's so OP with uh, additional furies that just kind of drilling in is fine because you um, get uh, node fury proc off every single hit, even if something fails to trigger. So yeah. Works out well, mate. Works out well. Okay, so health is now irrelevant. It's, well, it's still relevant, but... I don't have to deal with a shock, so I think we're fine to parry at the start. Yeah, we are. As long as reflected on, it's up, we're fine to parry. Just when that goes down, and the man starts triggering his armor up, so that's when we want to be a bit more cautious. Oh, look at that bleed. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Gamora is just easy clapping these fools today. I'm loving it, mate. I'm loving it. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, we got Howard next. Just got to avoid that special one and not get smacked in the face and we're chilling. What's that? Phoenix path for the next one. I'm not further than the main account yet, but if I go into 7-4, I will be there. So that's uh, that's all right. Lucer, we're still going to have plenty of six stars for 7-4 completion. And I'm really happy I opened it yesterday, dude, because I got freaking Gamora. So she's amazing for a lot of stuff. We wouldn't be easy clapping these fools um, if I didn't do that opening yesterday. So yeah, well, the opening's still going to be uh, sizable. I think there's like a nexus for completion or something. I haven't even looked properly at the completion rewards. Oh, 
I was surprised we got as far as we did yesterday with, um, like, a lack of pain. I was expecting the Gwen Master was going to, like, be like an hour of me trying to figure it out again. But we did, we did well. We did really well. It's so much better than the first uh, attempt as well. I was, I was really, really surprised that we just outperformed the Whale Account on that fight by such a large margin. <laughs> Dude. Yes, man. Yes. I, I'm i so satisfied with this rank up. It's so good when you get a rank up and it's like immediate gratification of like this champion's just clapping paws, getting stuff done. It was amazing for that first pass. It was amazing for this one. I think he's actually going to be, if I can stay alive, that is really good for the friggin' Kang boss um, that's coming up. And I th also think for the 7.4 Kang, I was chatting to uh, MSD yesterday. Give me a little bit of pointers on 7-4 Kang. It's a massive shout. I don't know if Metal Sonic Dude is watching at the moment, but thanks for helping me out in the um, Twitter DMs. I was kind of asking him what he thought of my roster for Kang. Um, yeah, I didn't even tell him I was ranking up Gamora, but he's like, I think one of the final phases you get more damage. Um, for every buff that you have, and the more you know, it's so easy to get up to like 10 20 buffs. Bit of a burn window, I might be a bit cheeky here. I think we can get away with it. Oh no, maybe we can't. Okay, we're, we've actually still got never mind. I'm a godly interceptor. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, didn't expect to get away with that, dude. But I was like, oh, he's still got high though, you know, I can I can take this special three. Um, yeah, we're chilling. Absolutely chilling. Uh having a great time. Um is there anybody else that I'd like to sub in for Hulk? Dunno, I think Hitmonkey's gonna be fine, right? I'll have a look at my characters, like see if there's a... actually I don't necessarily need the Gamora synergy for that. So maybe we just go like backup option like um, herped up Hulk versus I Hulk. There we go. It's the synergy for the path, and then we could just make a face for all that. Yeah, cool. I'm I'm enjoying that, man. I'm enjoying that. Seven point four completion. What would you say, people that have done it, has the hardest um paths to actually get to the boss out of uh you know all of seven? Is it seven one, seven two, seven three, seven four? What's like the hardest gauntlet of fights to get through on the easiest paths, if that makes sense? I know that's a bit subjective, because like, Act 7 is very dependent on your roster. Like, there's, um... Yeah, there's so much variance in that department. Right, I might just play this fight normally with Hitmonkey. Actually, I'll try and get some intercepts where I can, but... That was a little bit beast. Don't know why, I'm kind of, I'm low-key, like, popping off today. <laughs> but now that I've said that, I'm going to miss parries for the next hour. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've, I've kind of, like, surprised myself with a few of these plays. I think because I've done, like, all of the free-to-play stuff, like, so aggressively, while also in my spare time, been pushing Battlegrounds as well. I feel like Battlegrounds is such a healthier mode of gameplay to play outside of Arena. Because arena's just so boring, you switch off the battlegrounds, you're gonna be like, okay, roll up your sleeves. It's time to actually get thinking. So it actually keeps you engaged in um you know relevant high tier fights. Whereas arena was just like, put suicide masteries on and just tap the screen and like ten hits on your opponent and they're dead. And like you just never had to like think. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think what it is, but there's one point on my main account, I think it's round 7-3, where I wasn't playing much, I'm just so rusty, dude. Looking at some of the gameplay videos. So that people, people kind of debating between 7-3 and 7-4 being the uh, the hardest to initial clear. I'll try and drop these stacks if I can, I'd like to one-shot this lad. It's not the best idea, really, being special twos, but 
as a gamer, uh, I'm trying to get him below 50% so I can get some more damage. <laughs> Sorry, get my own hit monkey below 50%. We're almost there. Adrenaline keeps on topping us back up, though. Okay, that was that was too much. A little bit, a little bit too close to below that. It's all right. Below ten percent is really where my uh, my skills start to come out. All right, come on, big fella. Send it. Send it. Um, just want to dump that on there. I love how, like, this monkey with nunchucks is, like, parrying the Hulk. <laughs> uh, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just oddly amusing. Hulk's one weakness, man. Good old, good old nunchuck pro. I don't think that's going to trigger the node if I trigger immortality here. Shouldn't get wrecked from the node, I think. Because he's not going to actually die. Okay, cool, we're good. Oh, we did die from it then. Uh, so yeah, I gotta make sure I kill this dude perfectly now. Oh, okay, unlucky, unlucky. It's all right. We got the the main uh, bulk of the fight out of the way. So yeah, we just need to finish it off. Um, I think bring in a bit of uh, Immortal Hulk versus Immortal Hulk. We should be good. I don't think he'll have enough gamma energy now to. Um, Did I not land the parry there? Okay, I did it. We're fine. I think he needs like 15, right, to uh, actually trigger the immortality. So I, I don't think he triggers it, but maybe I'm incorrect. There we go. <laughs> uh, nice. Oh, I hit level 50. Let's go, man. Let's go. You know what? I still forgot to put an XP booster on like all of yesterday, which is uh, as bad uh, bad habits, my friends. Um, I'll chuck one on now, though. But hey, we got a bit of a top off on the energy, man. Save me a few units there. I'll, I'll appreciate that. Okay, nice. So that's uh, quest number two down. Dealt with. Um... Smooth sailing so far, but uh, what was the uh, the suggestion again? Um, seven three. Let me have a bit of a look up. We'd say the Phoenix Path. It's the Mystic Cure Path there. The... So whenever a Mystic attacker activates a special attack, they poison the defender, dealing. Okay, cool. That potency increases for every buff on the defender. Oh, nice. I like that. So every three seconds, the defender gains an indefinite passive regeneration. So it's whenever they activate a special attack, okay, and then that increases. There's a big bonus to mystic damage. Every three seconds, the defender gains an indefinite passive regeneration, restoring 0.2% max, more poisoned. Um, they start to lose it. Okay, yeah, Claire seems amazing for this path, looking at it. And then if we uh, port over, what is... Hopefully it's the top. Please be the top. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was like, Jabari Panther? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> but this is uh, not looking too bad at all. And then where do we go next? Over here. And then there is... Oh, is that Annihilus and Nightcrawler to round us off? 
Okay, Elias and Nightcrawler a bit more annoying, but um, yeah, especially with the Limber node. Oh, we should be fine though. We can we can now play those fights, I think. And then who is the easiest boss here? So we've got Spider Ham, steady build up, nice defense, immunity. Um, is killable, annoying. Uh, Stark Spidey Aggression Fury Mix Master. Do not like the Mix Master node. Uh, he does have the Heavy Assault node, so you can just spam Heavy Attacks here. Yeah, I think I, I did like a Heavy Attack cheese on there, the middle one. Um, one of the last runs I went through. And then we've got the uh, Tenacity Foresight. Other Defender is knocked down. So yeah, what do you think is probably the easiest one? I think it's probably Starkey and just spam Heavy Attacks right here. But what does what does chat think? Um, or do we go for Stealthy and go for Evade? I think Starkey and Heavy Attacks just seems like the uh, the absolute face roll option there. Let's bring America Chavez here, maybe. Yeah, this is. Uh, I'm I'm glad chat's on the uh, the same path there. Drax path also nice to Rising Sun. I didn't enjoy some of the defenders I was seeing on Drax's path, but. Yeah, I, I think we'll go for we'll we'll try out like the the Phoenix fight and just see how that is. Let's go to team select. Mainly go for Mystics. I think Charvis still isn't properly like leveled up, so I think long shots can do so much more work in comparison. So I think we get Black Widow. We'll get Rintra as well, um, and we'll also bring long shot. And then for spam and heavy attacks, who has got a good heavy? I think Gamora's still going to do really well there. Plus heavy's. Is it quick enough, actually? I don't even know. I know Hercules is quick enough. <laughs> um, CGR's is quick enough. Okay, I'll, I'll, bring, I'll bring in CGR. We can still do the heavy attack spam with uh, freaking Black Widow. And also, it works with Longshot as well. You can get a nice uh, special 2 detonation, but I'll swap, uh, swap out maybe Rintra or um, Gamora when we get there. We should be good. Um, what's that? I don't. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, White Magneto's uh, pre-fight there, but it's all good. I can just wait out the timer for that. We get. We can just do like medium heavy, and we we should be okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll we'll give it. We'll give it a try. I think. I think we'll be able to get through the fight regardless. Or you need a Mega Sentinel. I've been playing with my... I wish I had a 6-star, man. I got a 5-star rank 3 now. And she's been clutching a few uh, BGs for me. Had like a near-perfect fight against uh, Domino the other day. I think... I don't know. Not 100% sure, but I think she's got some sort of ability accuracy reduction immunity. And yeah, it was just doing an uh, immense amount of work. Right, I think I want to switch to the Poison um, stance here. So that regen, that regen's actually super light uh, for X7. But then if we can just uh, apply a friggin' poison man, whichever. Think about Black Widow, she's just got so much um, core base utility, like she can do a bleed and incinerate. She can kind of, bit of a comedian when it comes to uh, X7 content and just finding a path to get through. Absolutely MVP. A lot of debuffs if you need for diss track. You want to slow the heavy the uh, uh, gameplay down with like heavy attacks. Totally do that for some nodes. So yeah, there's uh there's plenty of options. Right, let's try this off. Get the power steal as well, so we don't need to worry about pushing out specialty. Yeah, the only fights I'm a bit worried about are uh, Nihilus and Nightcrawler, but Nihilus, like, as long as we can get him under control at the start, he's really not too bad. Okay, perfect. <laughs> well, you know, if if uh, a lot more of the fights on this path are like that one, this is this could be a great time to get through. 
Okay, let's uh, port over. I would say all around the count MVP is, is still going to be Black Widow, man. Well, I, kind of one point I was thinking CGR, but the more we get into um, Act 7 stuff, I think it's lean a bit toward Black Widow, but they're both, they're both big MVPs. Hard carriers get the job done. Yo, what is up, Chim? I appreciate that, dude. Thank you very much for looking out for the chat today, dude. Oh, right. Oh, did we miss a super chat? My apologies, my friend. I'll, I'll bring up the log and have a look. Yeah, sorry about that, dude. It was like balls deep in a path or something. On point with those decks is killing it, man. <laughs> I thought I was actually about to mess that one up. Oh, gosh. Gambe's a tough one as well. If you hit by those specials, man, Ooh. this man's gonna stunlock you into oblivion. Right, the Limbo node is coming in a bit now. Struck out of a combo. Get the uh, cheeky little power still drain on that. Yeah, I think the Nightcrawler matchup specifically, I'm going to use like other champions aside from Claire first. Uh, see if I see how much of a dent I can make, um, and then bringing Claire I think is the the best option because that Limbo node I think is going to be a bit annoying, and it's like if you can't rapidly apply stuns, you just risk the uh, sorry not apply stuns, apply poisons. You do run the risk of like healing the opponent a crazy crazy amount. So yeah, we just need to be a bit aware of that. Right? Did I somebody said I missed a super chat? Let me just double check the log. There we go. Uh, yo, LOG, dude, apologies for that. Um, is is there a, a rattling noise, guys? You might be able to hear like a, a fan in the background, but it shouldn't be uh, too disturbing. Is is there anything else kind of um, going off or sounded a little bit weird? But yeah, uh, let me know. But yeah, a light fan in the background from the uh, the computer trying to process the stream. I think should be the only thing. But yeah, thank you very much, dude. All right, let's go for the poison stance. And Odin, I think his special two is a bit better to get him to, but we also don't have that many parry stuns because of the limbo nodes, so I need to be aware of that as well. Oh, and you can only um, punish that, I think, if you're right next to him. Okay, that one seems quite easy to punish. It's been a while since I actually fought Odin under a slightly difficult circumstance, to be fair. I did fight him last season in Battlegrounds and forgot that he had, like, base armor up, so I brought, like, uh, a non arm break champion to him, and I got wrecked. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, I had no idea where that was coming from. 
but thank you very much, sir. I do appreciate all the support. Let's get you up there, LOG. I think you're our blubbery as well the other day now. That's two, uh, two pounds, two trounce, I think that's a grand total of about, uh, I think it's about six US dollars or something. All right, let's get the poisons on. Got rid of all of the regen there. Perfect. And a uh, parry stun. And there we go, boys. Who's better, Ultron or Warlock? Oh, they're both really, really good. There's, there's a, a large, lengthy argument that could be had about which one's more useful overall. But I've seen some really, really good stuff uh, from... Uh, Metal Sonic dude, he's got like a full Kang solo with Ultron. Ultron is pretty, pretty powerful. It kind of depends where you're at though. Because there's a lot of stuff Ultron just works for. He's got buffs, debuffs, loads of immunities. He's a tech champion. Um, so yeah, he works amazingly for that final Kang. There's like a full MSD, all four phases solo for the 7-4 Kang. Uh, so yeah, that's a, a good video to watch if you're looking to get on the Ultron hype train. I think Ultron also does a fair bit more damage out in comparison to Warlock. But Warlock just gets through, like, he's an option to get through, like, everything. <laughs> like, the synergies are insane. I mean, if, you, if you're having to, like, make a debate between your roster, Ultron and Warlock, I mean, you got a friggin' roster that can just send. <laughs> you know? You can get all sorts of stuff done with that. But the, uh, they, they've also got a brilliant synergy together, which um, allows any immunity champion to gain Fury, which then makes that Sinister and 6-2 mega easy, because you can literally use like any poison immune champion for it. So yeah, it's uh, a blessed scenario to be in having both of those champions at high level. Alright, let's strip down those regens. Oh, damn it. Okay, I took a little bit of damage from the, um, the shield there. Get that poison on. Just prevent the regen timer from going off. I'm just going to do double medium here, get the poison up. And then another combo. Maybe special one going to do it. Oh, if I could get into that Nightcrawler matchup and just switch his stance like super quick, that would be the uh, dream. Well, uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, will I be doing 7 4 today? Probably not today, uh, but maybe tomorrow or early next week. It kind of depends, like, I still don't know if I'm going to need to spend any units, and if so, like, how many units do I need to spend? So, yeah, I I don't know. I, I ate a little bit into my budget last night getting uh, Gamora up, but she's just been incredible today, and I think already well worth the, um, the cost in units, buying the romance bundles. Well, the romance, the only thing I'm buying from the romance ones are, like, the 50, uh, 50 unit ISO. Is the ISO equivalent, I did the rough math on it, it's like a four-star dupe priced about 30 units, which I think for the ISO is actually, well, it's it depends like where you're at and what you need, but my free-to-play account, it's like wait a week for that ISO or spend, um, you know, friggin' 50, 100 units on it, and it's just like, yeah, dude, just, just makes sense. Because I've actually got through a lot of stuff with spending a lot less units than I thought I would, so just keep in... The roster up to date and making sure i've got the right counters for stuff um instead of having to bring in like inefficient options and then revive is uh is the game plan i'm very much enjoying at the moment yeah dep depends on your circumstance but i actually think those uh those iso ones are are pretty good everything else is uh pretty shite though <laughs> but that I, I think there's a good case for it
And also, you know, I've been grinding out a, a fair bit of arena as well. Not this last round, but the week before that I was. So I had a good amount to chuck there. I also don't want to get my units too low. Yeah, I was worried about dipping below a thousand, but I was like, eh, we did much better than expected yesterday. I was kind of expecting to finish yesterday with like nothing left and then have to do like a couple of weeks of grinding before pushing on, but here we are with a moderately healthy stash. Well, we haven't got Kang down yet, but we'll see. Actually, have to learn to uh, learn to play on that fight. Oh, I got tagged there. Just gonna get back on top of this with a special two. <laughs> right, we're almost there. Come on. Come on, lad. Go down. Ah, oh, dude. I just did not get the long distance of age. Okay, right. The, um... That the cosmic rod was still down, so we can parry there. Just finish off the fight. Okay, so for the next matchup, Claire's going to be the finisher. I think we're probably going with long shot first. Then, yeah, long shot's a bit more chill for getting to the um, special. But Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler's a pain, dude. Ah, oh, don't enjoy that. Grant, I'm afraid you're going to have to get in line, fella. <laughs> but you know, you got got to shoot your shot, mate. <laughs> Paragon today, now, dude. Paragon won't be for a while. We like getting Kang down isn't necessarily the um, the problem. The problem is then getting um, the three six star rank four champions is the the wider issue. Right, I think oddly, and this is going to feel weird, I just need to spam special one now, a long shot. I've got like, um, as you can see, pretty much no duration left on the, uh, the stuns. So I think we kind of just keep here, spam special one. Just to uh, prevent the regen from coming up. And then we get it down. So yeah, it feels like an odd way to play long shot, but I think it's the right strategy for what we're trying to do here. Because if I get allowed to get like seven stacks again, this man's he's going to full health. Oh, okay, that one did not feel did not feel that nice. Gotta be patient here. Yeah. Nice. That was uh, that was pretty good, dude. I actually did not expect Longshot to get the friggin' solo there, so I'm a bit, a bit taken aback. But yeah, did a sick job. That was awesome. Hmm. I don't think Rintra. It's gonna. I think more is gonna be more valuable for the uh, the Starky boss. Black Widow, I think, works well. Uh, Longshot can work. Um, actually, Longshot. Maybe I replace long shot and just well, we'll replace long shot just because he's like low health as well. Whereas Rintra can like mess up a load. 
<laughs> so I think we can get like more damage off. Um, just with uh, the health remaining. So yeah, I think we go for Gamora here. What do we want to go? I hope. Hulk not bad actually. I Hulk actually, there might be a bit of cheese in there with the the heavy attack thing. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll try that. Might be terrible, might be amazing, but we don't necessarily need the Gamora here. So, I think Master be what like water. So he's also got the unblockable as well. All right, let's give it a go. I think I still got the, the boosters active for a couple of minutes. Oh, maybe not here just because of the unblockable node. We, like, can't really get any tempo. It's a viable option. I guess, like, anybody is, though. I think we don't take our revives for granted, and like, let's just make the most of this try. Like, we're still getting good chunks actually out there. Which should we get a crit here? Although it may be unlikely. Alright, come on, mate. Oh, right. I did not mean to go for that. Bit of, bit of trouble here. <laughs> Heimdall coming in for the save. It's okay, I'm, I'm kind of happy to switch somebody else now. But yeah, literally like any champion, just playing it a little bit slow, but a little bit safe here. Yeah, you're chilling, man. You're having a great time. Um, CGR, I think. Can't do his combos, so it's literally just going to be ripping heavy attacks till the cows come home. Oh, that was a lot of damage into my block there, mate. Cool, calm down, chief. Where's this man getting that? Oh, is it aggression fury as well? Was that it? Were we, like, not being aggressive enough? I think it was a bit of that, eh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, CGR again, still not the best for that. I kind of wish we brought in Gamora instead of I Hulk. By Hulk, he did some work. He uh, certainly got a good uh, percentage of the fight down. We just need to finish off with uh, Claire and Rintra here. Also, I don't play like absolute ass. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I just got uh, evaded and kicked in the face, and it didn't feel great. <laughs> we we still got a chunk off there. I, I could have played this fight so much better if I just had a bit more patience, though. Um, okay, we got Rintra. Rintra's like mega full on health. Hey, we still three paths down. 
Um, I think we used some healing potions on the previous one for Gamora, but we still haven't had to use a revive today, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Could have played better there, though. Could have played better. Um, I brought a better option. Yeah, uh, Gamora is definitely I think the way to go for, for us on that one. But oh yeah, forty-five units on the path, mate. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's certainly uh, that's a little stack. That's got us up a bit. We're back to eight hundred and thirty something. Um, oh, I should have asked chat on this one. What do you guys think is like the easiest path there? You got paradox debuffs. Um, maybe the attacker applies the debuff to gain a paradox. There's also buff potency as well. Mm, okay. This, this one seems kind of possible. Uh, oh, actually, maybe not the uh, the havoc. Yeah, not like in the havoc. Yeah, the Domino as well. Not the biggest fan of those two fights. Just for our roster. I think we could get through it. Um, we maybe brought in... Who's really good? A Mega Sentinel might be able to counter both those fights if needed. She's only 5 star rank 3, but... That is uh, the other option. Then we got Evan Flow Knockdown. Sleepy Perseverance. I'm just looking if there's a, like any Cosmic Bomb. And then I'll have a quick glance up at chat see what people are saying. Prop Strife Path, but none of them are amazing for you. What's the Strife Path here? We got Thunderstruck. So, Shock Debuffs. Um, okay, so you got to shock the Defender. When the Defender is knocked down by a heavy or special attack, they become immune to debuffs. Uh, both the Attacker and Debuff. Uh, attacker and Defender strikes up to 20% chance to a Prop Shock. And then we have... Um, each debuff defender gains 65% power rate. Um, okay, so it doesn't seem like shock immunity is a big thing here. It just seems like power gains a big problem, right? Uh, okay. So we're going to get a little bit rinsed down by the shocks. But only if we get hit. And I need to use champions that naturally don't have too many debuffs, right? Uh, bleed poison and armor breaks count twice for this effect. Then we also need to take it maybe a little bit slow. But stuff's going to hit really hard. I, I guess... Uh, what is it? Like certain combos of Cosmic Ghost Rider are going to hit really, really hard once those shocks are getting ramped up though. We've got like big burst combos on champions. Um. Oh god, all the defenders are really annoying on this one though. Uh, it's a bit of a pain. Looks like a Mortal Hulk would probably go pretty ham. That might, might be something we could do here. Miss the negative. I'm not super excited about fighting Mr. the negative. And then, what else do we have here? Yeah, a lot of people in chat saying the Strife path. It's it's going well, give me. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out this uh, path the chat we're going on. Use Nebula. Nebula, I, I don't think, again, uh, Shock Immunity is necessarily the thing here uh, that's needed. But Nebs, Nebs isn't even going to be able to get her big damage, because when you knock them down, then they're going to go Shock Immune, so I don't think that would work. Um, I think you just want big Zergas. Uh, Rintra is a Zerga, CGR, Hitmonkey. Um... Kind of weighing up like Rintra versus Gamora. I guess it depends on like the matchups that I need them for. Want to play them in? Right, I'm gonna try and quickly figure this out. Okay, so let's go CGR, CGR. Next fight, maybe Rintra, maybe Claire. Um, it's actually a lot of tech to be fair. Use Claire for. Um, that one. I, th I think, yeah, I think Cosmic Ghost Rider. Sorry, Gamora actually might be a little bit better for this one. And we'll use Hitmonkey for Mr. Negative. I just also need to test out this quick. Um, and then, am I right in thinking that this is the um, that uh, Symbiote Supreme is mega easy? Or is there like an easier boss than that Sim Supreme? I think all three of these were pretty easy, right? What do you guys reckon for the uh, the final boss? Is there anything that makes that Sim Supreme annoying? 
you kind of just like get him into the corner and just spam heavy right <laughs> as as simple as uh that that sounds so yeah might, might be okay there you can stun lock uh more than half that venom path with i hulk and herc or is there a different venom path Paddox buffs, parry bomb ability. Okay, so the uh, the paradox on this one. Let, let me actually check. Is it is it buffs like everything wide? Because yeah, Gamora wouldn't work there. She'd get clapped. I think. Um, I'll try like a, a fight on the the strife one. I think we just want to get in and try and stuff. So I'm gonna play Syringe with Gamora. It's like three tech opponents on this path and let's uh let's just see how we get on this one might be a bit, a bit of a pain but hey it's smooth sailing so far okay so i'm going to start with uh cosmic ghost rider here we're going to boost we are going to go for a 30 percent and track this off and then if we have problems with like this uh first fight we'll um Go, hey, screw it, we're going for, um... Right, we've got the lock here. This should be some pretty good burst. Uh, that's an alright. If we can, you know, repeat that, like... Three more times, the fight's pretty much done. Yeah, this this don't seem too bad. This is definitely doable. Technically, I probably don't need to. Uh, I can adjust my rotation, I think, a bit here. Not having that full up damage is a bit of a pain, but we are doing okay. Yeah, I'm thinking of going for that instead, because then we don't have that initial like baiting out uh, phase. Yeah, I think that's the better way to play CGR, it's just like the heavy charge fake out. Um, almost, man, almost. We could be a bit greedy and not do the final one. There we go. Strife is down. Yeah, I, I, I think this should be okay. I'm going to try and get more on the next one. See how we get on there. But anytime we uh, we knock down, um, get rid of all the debuffs. Is it armor breaks? Okay, I maybe I need to be a, bit, a little bit careful with the uh, the push timing on the special two here. But let's um let's give them more a go. Um, this was a bit annoying for guillotine. Like if I knock her down, then she gets the friggin' debuff immunity. But I need to get eight uh, buffs on Gamora, and then I can start dodging some stuff, dodging her invisibility. Okay, nice. So she's immune. Don't want to really attack him while she's immune. I'm just going to go for a refresh here. Because she also takes 90% uh, less damage unless she is shot. And we did not proc any shocks there. Brilliant. Love it. Okay. 
Okay, come on. Shock. Fantastic. Okay, big burst here. And we didn't get on the final hit, but everything else is good. Let's refresh some of our buffs. As long as we keep over eight, that's good. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, that's alright. We just got the short duration ones off now. So we just need one more to start counter countering invisibility. There we go. Come on, where's the shock, dude? No shocks there at all. But no damage out of that. It's really annoying. Okay, amazing. We got the shock up. We're actually countering um, invisibility. I'm gonna be a bit greedy here and just I'm gonna send it. Yeah, there we go, oh, dude. It was so annoying getting the lineups against Guillotine. Oh, but we got it. We got it. We're through that fight. And let's go Punisher next. Um, I think I'll use Gamora again for Punisher. I want to save, uh, was it CGR for Psycho Man? And hopefully we still have a bit of Gamora left for that fight as well. So Gamora, her buffs last longer the more you get into a fight up to like a minute or something. So the first ones you trigger are always quite, uh, quite light. Kind of borderline not even worth refreshing for like 30 seconds or so. Okay, let's refresh though. It's starting to get a bit longer. Base damage is just Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I don't even, I don't even know if it's actually worth trying to keep them up now that we don't need the utility of countering. Because then we just have more time to um nuke in by a really significant factor. Yeah, you know what, screw it, dude. I'm not even gonna go for the refresh, it just gives him more like zero damage downtime without the shock on. Even with a few, we just hit like a trade when we can hit. It's like, oh, the bleed's gonna trigger his immortality, but then I realized, like an idiot, obviously when I knock him down, he's gonna become Dima. Oh, and if you just join in, I made the decision to take Gamora up to rank 2 today, and it's been, been blessed. A truly... MVP decision. She's done so much work today. Made the first two quests in this mega easy. And um, yeah, she's putting in a solid shift here. I'm not mega enthusiastic about these next three fights. I forgot how to fight. Uh, Sinister. Sinister? No, it's uh, Mr. Negative. That's the one. It was Mr. Something. <laughs> I just went for the, the wrong... Uh, Wrong thing at the end. Right. Um, let's go Dragon Man. We'll go Clairvoyant. We can kind of see that we can get through any fight as long as we can, um, yeah, play play semi-decently. Guys, what, the, what do I need to remember for fighting Mr. Negative? I swear, I didn't... I'm not even sure I fought him once yet in the last month and a bit. It's not that I can remember. Maybe like in a really easy side event or something. 
it's like a certain amount of charges and he evades. But yeah, just uh, give me the, the TLDR in chat, man. The rank 3 Gamora? Oh, don't die. There we go. Yo, what's up, Hector? Hopefully you're doing well. Thank you for all of the help um, with uh, Battlegrounds Bullies, by the way, dude. I appreciate it. But nice kind of getting everybody active, playing playing Battlegrounds. That's what we're after. Yo. Oh, thank you very much for the super chat there, dude. Hopefully you're doing, doing well there today, my friend. So we're avoiding using mediums in this fight. Just going to go for light combos here and cycle. Because if we use mediums, there's still the uh, redoubled determination. Oh, but Claire is making this a uh, a treat of a fight here. Oh yeah, there's the inverted controls at some point on that one, isn't there? Claire is uh, handling this Dragon Man with a fantastic level of finesse. Oh! Uh, <laughs> uh, guys, you o only saw the uh, the first bit there. <laughs> that out of context seems so bad. Uh, it's, it's head of cuddles, not just... <laughs> uh, mate, she knows I'm live streaming. Yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> it's not what you think. I'm not that much of a degenerate. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm gonna show that later. It's just gonna be like, oh gosh. Right, let's uh, <laughs> let's say you take this dragon man down. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, mate, that was that was top level banner right there, boys. Top level banner. It always comes up as freaking no cooler ID, man. Oh, today of all days, man. Right, well, we haven't died to Dragon Man just yet. Let's go. Curse of Hellfire. Straight in the bin. <laughs> oh. And there we go. Dragon Man's down. We're chilling, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> let's move on to. See. Uh, let's let's move on to Psycho Man, shall we? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, got to calm myself down now. Uh, let's let's go for uh, uh, Gamora or CGR. I think, I think CGR. Let's go CGR. He's got a bit more buffer room. If we are getting wrecked here. But the rotation we wanted to do was like light combo, medium combo, charge heavy, interrupt. That was special too. And then we chill him. Oh no. Okay, one thing. I don't know if we actually had this against Strife or not, but... The, the armor break is giving him like a ton of passive power gain. I'm dead anyway from this. Oh, yeah, I think I messed up a bit there. Oh. Right, let's go for... Let's go for Gamora here. See if we can uh, somehow clutch this one back. If not, this doesn't seem like a, the worst place to maybe use a team revive. I might just try Claire after this, actually. 
Or how about we just don't need to try anybody else because we just get the fight down? That'd be sick. Oh, okay. Heimdall coming in clutch. <laughs> I'm trying to go for the evade. I was like, there's no way I'm getting this, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And then just got a bit... Got a bit, got a bit clapped there. Um... Hmm. I think Black Widow Clairvoyant is the, the next option to go for. But I knew Psycho Man it could be a bit of a pain. And um, pretty much the same with Mr. Negative coming up. Okay, I made a bit of a mistake here. I should not be using any medium attacks, or else I'm going to give him so much power. Trying to avoid. My right, big special two. That's pretty good. Oh no! I I gave it my best effort, but I managed to avoid literally zero beams there. <laughs> right there we go boys we we got it down we got it down uh don't stun mr negative and try not to knock him down it all issues go away after that if he has sort no light energy you can't invert your control to de uh degen me okay nice so don't go for the stuns and we try not to knock down anyway so that's perfect that's a good combo right Chuck on the uh, the full energy booster here, and uh, let's get get moving forward. This path has definitely been a, a lot more tricky than some of the previous ones, eh? Um, okay, how are we doing for boosters? I might chuck a health booster on here. Maybe an attack one as well. We still got quite a few attack actually. I'll go for this now, uh, and also for the start of the next thing. Um, okay, so don't parry on a bait out the heavy attack. The heavy attack's just like a slice upward, right? Yeah, I can I can punish that bomb real quick. I think I want to just bait this reset his power. Mr. Negative still does look amazing. <laughs> and I really need to get a shock, dude. I'm just not proccing the shocks here. Okay, I'm going to bait uh, this special. Oh, I didn't mean to parry stun there, but we'll, we'll go for a bit of damage. We've got good opening. Um, oh, I shouldn't be attacking in uh, when he doesn't have a shock on. When he doesn't have debuffs on, because then he can't get shocked. There's some big damage here. I think I've got to bait this out. It's been a bit cheeky with that parry. But I think as long as it's like above six or something, then it's no, no issue. Oh, dude, that went so much better than expected. Yeah, Mr. Negative. Really ain't that bad to fight as long as um you don't know, give him uh give him stacks, dude. That was that was a bit of a treat. Okay, um So yeah, what are we saying guys for the final boss? Is it Sim Supreme that's the uh, the easiest to deal with? Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of um 
a difficulty going on there. As far as I can see, I'm just going to double check before going for these choice nodes. But looking at this, we've got Ebb and Flow Knockdown. We've got Steady Perseverance. Yeah, so that's just Stun Immunity after they activate a special attack. Hmm. Are there any impending warnings? Mr. Negative Mid Defender. Certainly looks like it. He was he was very quirky to play. I remember when he was on the CCP beta. Yeah. If you could MCOC Encyclopedia, dude, thank you for all the, the help and uh, guidance getting through this, dude. I appreciate it. Saved me a lot of reading and a bit of testing today. So, massive love to you, sir. Okay, right, we're going to character select. I think I'll probably replace the hit monkey with somebody. Uh, maybe anti venom. Yeah, or oh, actually, Rintra. Rintra could be fun here. I think Rintra's just going to be really fun here, so let's go for it. Let's get him into the corner. Just spam friggin' heavy attacks. We can, like, pin ourselves against the corner as well. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try a Rintra. Um, if we can get Solo here or something. Oh no, he's in defensive stance. Ah, well, it's okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Still, still not bad for an opening uh, combo there. Certainly, certainly had much worse. It's just where like Sims like constantly friggin' just open. Ah, uh, crit, crit. That's all right. I think he's got a bit of um. We're not getting as much damage through the energy resistance on this side or something. Oh, maybe it's oh, it's the knockdown, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, it's not because I'm not um knocking him down before special two. Should be doing that. So yeah, that's just me being a pleb. So yeah, that's the thing I'm missing from my combo here. Look, see guys, I might be a pleb for like the first minute or two, or in some fights, 20 minutes, but eventually like I learn and get sometimes good. So yeah, this isn't obviously optimal because we don't have enough uh, debuffs, but that's kind of how we want to run it. And there we go, that's 72k, so much I am. See if we can get out this time. Right, there we go. We got the Fury. Come on, big crit. Oh, no, he's in his armor phase. Oh, doesn't matter. 155k. Let's go. Okay, he's going to unfortunately get rid of all the charges I've just put on him of that major reset. Um, this might do something here. Oh, <laughs> no, dude, no. Oh, that wasn't bad. I, if I had just uh, got the right kind of lineup with um, the ebb and flow heavy node earlier on, that would have been an easy one shot. So yeah, I just need to hone my both my Rintra skills and my node reading skills. Need a, a little bit of polish. Perfect, lads. Perfect. Thank you very much, Sundog. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks for, um, what is it, staying active and doing a bit of work in the Alliance Battlegrounds, dude. I appreciate it. What's that for uh, the next one? I can stun lock five or six fights on the torch path, but I hawk special too. Nice. I have some good tech options to take the Jubilee path. I really don't um, have that, unfortunately. But there's also a cosmic path, you say. Ooh, okay. We got some we got some options here by the sound of it, my friend. 
And I, I certainly do appreciate that. Let's have a look around. I want to see what the cosmic one is like. Um, so the torch, what is the, what was the cosmic path? Cosmic avalanche. Defender is struck, they get stifled. Okay, so you need to make sure you don't get uh, fate sealed, right? Oh, damn. Cosmic Avalanche seems pretty damn good, though. I uh, guess we can get through the bishop. The bishop's all right. But, yeah, that is an option. And then what's this, uh, this other path that we can just stun lock with by Hulk? Um... Attackers gain 30% debuff duration for each paradox on the attacker. Oh, that's really good. So how do you gain paradox here? Oh, it's like knocking down the defender. Okay. I'm going to try like one fight on that path of I Hulk and just like see how it feels. Because that seems like stupid levels of cheesy. Maybe bring in Gambit as well. I assume Gambit works. Um, there's a valid strategy for that. Uh, so yeah, let's go I Hulk. Um, I'm just going to check the bosses as well. Um, make sure we've got some options. Who is it? Warlock, Elsa Bloodstone, and Cable. Persistent pressure, evasive maneuvers, tenacity. Hmm... A little bit annoying, but not too bad. Heaven Flow Heavy, Red Line in Specialist, Stage Fright. Who do you guys think is the easiest boss there? They all seem to have like their slight um, difficulties. Red Line is a bit annoying. It isn't too bad. I guess you can kind of like cheese that to a certain extent. Heaven Flow Heavy. And there's no like... Um... Well, there is stage fright. You got to use special attacks quickly. Yeah, War Warlock seems pretty, pretty chill to be fair. Yeah, what, what do you guys think for the boss? Um, slow play on Warlock probs, not Cable. Oh, you can cheese a Doom. Yeah, I don't have Doom there. Oh, uh, Herc stun can work as well. Okay, if Herc stun works, dude, I'll take that. So yeah, well, um. We get like three cheesy stun lock options, and then for Warlock, uh, Hit Monkey's not going to be that good, so we'll uh, bring in Herc as well. Okay, we'll we'll do stun lock, stun lock cheese this one. I want to see the the power of power of this cheese. But this one, it, it sounds quite fun. Yeah, people are telling me immediately <laughs> avoid cable. <laughs> Guys, thanks for that. Appreciate it. Sometimes there's just like stuff that just doesn't click until you're like in the fight and then you're like, oh gosh, I am an idiot. I'm getting wrecked. Had that happen many, 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 many times. So we just need to maximize the knockdowns, right, to accumulate paradox here. Just like spam heavy attacks, essentially. Until we're at special two, and then we go for go for it. And it was using a special attack, gets rid of the paradox or something. Oh, actually, maybe I've wrecked myself here by not evading that special one. Yeah, I need to, I need to restart quick. Or else, like, as soon as I get into the stun lock, I'm just going to melt myself down with incinerate. So, uh, yeah, let's go for restart here. Um, and let's not be a noob. Evade the special one. That's all I got to do. Even if I, even if I face tank, I think it's fine. I just need to not block that final hit, and we're good. Okay, one. So that's a two there. How many charges should I uh, aim to have as well, people that have done this? That's fine. Because we didn't give them charges, dude. That's all, all we're going for. 
case of more the merrier. Okay, I got six here. Let's let's see how this feels. Oh, this has actually got my charges down a fair bit. So I want to get them higher than that before I start going in. But maybe, I, maybe I'm going to be okay here. I didn't get the stun. Maybe I'm not going to be okay. Um, I've still got Heimdall. I don't know who's going to trigger first. Maybe Immortal Hulk's Immortality comes into play first. Oh, I, he's got Nova Flame though, so... It's a bit of a, a, bit of a rip arena there. So we just got to take it a bit slower at the start, get a lot more charges. Um, then we get... Yeah, I'm just... Uh, I'm going to restart that. I, I think so, or else I'm just, like, wasting resources there. Um, actually, it doesn't really matter that much. Like, it's just a 20% revive, so yeah, I'll just uh, go for that. Takes uh, a bit of time off it. Need to be too overly conservative. Oh, wow. Look at that stun duration, man. That's crazy. I'm thinking it's off parries, but it's just off <laughs> those... Okay, so yeah, once you get them ramped up for the first fight, then it's like all the other ones are then mega easy. Because you already have the, um, the stun duration. Damn, dude, that's OP. I should have gone for one more heavy attack there just to get another charge. Ah, that's good. It's going to be fine. Let's move into our, our next encounter, eh? We get our, our Hulk tops up uh, a little bit. Let's give him a couple of... Uh, actually, just one, one 5k potion should be enough here. Give me a bit of a uh, parry buffer. About 10 charges. Okay, nice. So I'm actually aiming for about 10. Okay. Cheers, guys. Oh, I thought I could get away with like another quick heavy attack on that, but now I just instantly lost all my health. Um, that's really bad. Yeah, I see what you mean about the the ten charges, though. It's like the the perfect uh, amount there. Okay, nice. We actually got our gamma uh, radiation. I think up to a hundred. So I think we just kind of like trigger immortality, and then the next time we do, we ping back, but literally like full health or something. So yeah, that seems that seems pretty good, dude. And more Hulk is uh, he's yeah he's crazy here, dude. He's definitely doing some stuff. So yeah, we got 5k health, we got 100 charges, that might get us very close to like full or 85% or something. Oh nice. I keep on forgetting that stun's just so long at the start, isn't it? Just like enough time to go in.
I mean, there's something about this. It's, uh, you know, a little, little, little bit satisfying, boys, you know? <laughs> that is just... That's a crazy cheese, dude. That is so good. Oh, yeah, that's just... Stupid, mate. Absolutely stupid. Thoroughly, uh, thoroughly enjoying this one. Right, is it the top path? Not, not down. Yeah, it is. Just double checking on this rhino. Yeah, hundred percent the uh, the top one. But yeah, dude, this is borderline like that. Seven point two cheese yesterday. It requires, I guess, a little bit more preparation because uh, the slumber one is just is ridiculous. It is really ridiculous. I think I don't even need to use the five k. I think it's a bit overkill. I should just use a couple of these. Uh, technically, I don't even think I need to use any health potion, but I just want to be wanna be a bit safe here. I'm just gonna bait the special. Yeah, Hulk just true Giga Chat on this one, man. So the the interaction that is happening for every paradox charge, which are crossfire as well, so they're carried over. You get uh thirty percent more stun duration. So um yeah, I, I hold just here clapping balls, man. Just back to back special two, infinite infinite medium spam. Everybody's everybody's melted, man. Everybody's melted. We got Mr. Fantastic, an evade champion, but can he evade a twenty second stun? I don't think uh I think he's got that much juice in the tank. I'll try without healing up, but again, I don't think you need to. I think um you're just gonna get pinged back to full health anyway, so. But you also don't want to get to uh how many charges is it? So if you get to twelve you explode, so. Right, let's dodge this. I just want to, um, what is it? Parry and then special two. Get the chain gun on there. I actually want to throw like heavy attack earlier. Just to double my stacks. Oh, it, yeah, it doesn't actually uh, stay on. Shouldn't have been redo the play there. Oh, he evaded. No, the last hit, bro. The last hit. Get in the bin, son. No, this is ridiculous. This is actually absurd. One hit, dude. Literally. This man is... Um, he's actually having a laugh, mate. He's actually having a laugh. I'm not happy about that. I also messed up a little bit going... Uh, Again, dude! Again! How did how did he do that? Is it because he's got like so many power suppression? Come on! Literally, one hit. Exactly the same. Evade again. It's crazy, mate. I can't believe this. This game actually making me play the fights instead of permanently choose them with a Mortal Hulk. Unbelievable. Okay, this time we've got him. He won't evade. 0% chance. Come on, let's get the stun. Okay, nice, you got the stun. Oh, we chillin', boys, we chillin'. Make, God, this goddamn game, man, making me do mechanics. I'm Un unbelievable. Just wanna, I wanna sit there, pound the mediums until uh, my opponent just, um, just falls apart that's that's what we're getting for right well you know after bringing an eye out kind of everybody's been benched that is a big sassy boy my goodness look at that half a million uh my booster's still got a bit of time on yeah i think so i think we we feel a little bit behind last 
quest. But we've made up the time in this one. Just find all of the, the face rolling here. And I love that that gamma radiation, because we're um, like pumping out so much self damage on this fight as well, just heals us back up to full. That is uh, it's incredibly convenient. Does Sasquatch like have an interaction where he's gonna like break out? Is he gonna go wrath and break out on me? Hopefully not. We just gotta spam medium attacks faster. Come on, more mediums, let's go. Get those stacks up. Oh no, he's hit Wrath. Yep. I thought there was a, a chance he'd do this. And then he doesn't get it. So uh, we intercept and then we get a backdraft and then we go for a special one. And then we call up our boy Heimdall. <laughs> uh, I think our immortality is off cooldown now. Oh no, it's not! Where's where's Heimdall? No! Unbelievable! You trigger Heimdall earlier? I might have done. Oh, dude. What a sad, sad time there, guys. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna use another 20% but I've just finished that off. It's easy enough. I just don't wanna like ramp up friggin' gambit in that fight. <laughs> it's just gonna be so much more hassle. I haven't got any of the Paradox charges on him, so it's like, I've got to knock down Sasquatch ten times. And by that time, actually, Sasquatch has so much healing that I think I Hulk is just our, our go-to guy here. But I, th I thought we were actually going to get away with a the kill there, to be fair. I thought we stood uh, an okay chance. Right, let's rinse it in. Need to medium attack more than this regeneration. And pray that he does not go wrath. Please no wrath, sir. It's a gamer intercept there, man. Come on, stun. You can get the stun intercepts, okay. Got that. Come on. Oh, damn it. Oh, <laughs> mate. Um, is there anything to save us, Sid? Do we have our immortality? Is that going to trigger? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I can see that fight. If you, um, what was it, brought other champions, might actually be a little bit of an issue. Actually, I think Gambit has a way to maybe invert the regenerate. It's like a, some sort of inversion on his stuns. So yeah, it might have actually worked. Uh, Better there, especially if you the um, Petrify Mastery. But we got him down. We're through the big chunky boy there. Um, we got Warlock. So I'm going to character select here. Um, I'm going to swap out. Uh, take out Gambit and bring in... Um, CGR? Oh, Gamora. I'm kind of in a bit of a Gamora mood today. So yeah, let's go. Let's go, Gamora. It should be good with that, boys. Heimdall is, yeah, godsend, my friend, godsend. I like, I just don't leave uh, home with, without Heimdall anymore. Okay, th this should be fun. We'll give it a go. It's time, bust out the Gamora. Let's, uh, let's get this fellow down. So I just need to throw my specials once every 15 seconds. And between SP1 and SP2, I've got mega power gain. And I need to double the special too. I'm going to lose it. I'm not going to worry about refreshing any buffs till we're like 30 plus hits on Gamora. Was at the start a bit too... Um, was it they ain't got enough duration?
damn it, dude, damn it. Okay. Uh, right, stage fright. The trigger. Nice. I think he actually disabled that mode himself there. Three hits. And i got to start trying to refresh my uh, buffs soon. These ones now proking have pretty good duration. Oh no, I took the direct hit. Yeah, Heimdall, I'm not sure, is gonna be able to save me from this. Get a bit more damage if we can. Tree in the uh, final moments of this fight. Might be able to get a heavy count off the end. Cheeky intercept here, and I lost that. Okay, DGen. It was alright. We took a, a good enough chunk off. I just. Um, yeah, if we'd have got hit by that heavy attack, got a fully ramped, that could have been. There was solo potential there. Um, let's go Black Widow, and I think we maybe go for a cheeky finish of Eyehawk if we can. I think... What's the better strategy here? Maybe it's just to spam heavy attacks. Oh, I can't, actually can't go for the special three in this one. Because if the, um, the node strains me before that. Yeah, I think we just special two spam here. We got the ebb and flow heavy, so I still need to use heavies to knock down. Oh no, dude, I thought I was blocking that. <laughs> I thought I was legit blocking that. Um, I guess my thumb was in the way of my character and I just uh, didn't see it. Okay, that was... Uh... Oh, it was Bubble Shield. Yeah, it's Bubble Shield. Sorry, I didn't pay attention to that um, specific interaction there. I'd say it's taken uh, 10 block hits, so... Getting wrecked by that. I didn't dump my special too fast enough there, so let's go for this. Still a lot of things going on in this fight, man. Especially the, uh, the heavy protection mode. Okay, so heavy attack. Oh, no. Okay, next hit he throws is going to be unblockable. I think we should be good now. I think we're past it. Um, maybe if I rotate back to blood, I might be able to clutch this back. I literally have most of my bot proficiency drained now. Let's get a bit of healing out of this. Um, it's kind of just about countering the degeneration that we had taken. Oh yeah, because I'm um, he's got his thing on me. Whenever I go to heal, he's just going to degen me. <laughs> so yeah, that uh, well, that didn't work. We still got enough health off him with uh, clairvoyant that try though. So that's all right, and um, uh, are we going to get screwed over by this? We should be fine, I think. I just need to make sure when the heal does come around, I haven't got uh, the infection yet. Should be fine, I'm just taking the combo slow. Um... Didn't get the stun. Oh, what f caused me to fail that there? Uh, well, I think we're just going to play a bit cheeky, you know, see what we can do. I think we still got a bit of clutch off uh, Heimdall. It's about to trigger any moment now. This is true, like, balls to the walls, immortal hot gameplay this run. Been sending it. 
I don't know how I'm not dead. <laughs> how, how are we still like staying at this uh, this level, man? I I don't think Heimdall's triggered yet. Right? Okay, cool. My immortality is about to be off cooldown as well, so. Maybe something's going to happen here. But I'm not going to heal up because I get blocked, right? Dude, how, how am I still alive? I can't even work this one out. Uh, I legit... Okay, there's Heimdall proc'ing. I don't even know. I do not even know how we survived for like 60 hits there. <laughs> I was just like every single stand up. I was like, I'll go for the intercept. He just didn't throw the special three. Oh. Well, that, that was jammy, dude. I think that might have been... That and, like, Sasquatch, these feel like some of the jammiest fights I've had in such a long time because we just got away with so much there, man. It was it was ridiculous, so... Not bad, boys. Not bad. Yo! Uh, what is up, If? Thank you very much for the soup chat, dude. I, I certainly do appreciate that. It's uh It's been fun uh, coming back. New video. I love, I love a good new account challenge, and... Uh, this has been by far the best free to play account challenge we've ever done. <laughs> yeah. That that was that it was weird, man. It was so weird that try. Um but yeah, dude, thank you very much. I believe that makes you our blurry word of the day. So let's get uh you up there. If you're scared, say so. With that uh nine nice nine super chat. Then we'll get an Hercules, and then I need to quickly um uh refill my water. And uh, then we go in for Kang after this. I also need to figure out the Kang path. So any uh, any suggestions for the final chapter are very much welcome. Right, we just need to, um, yeah, have a slightly okay try with uh, Unawakened Hercules here. We, uh, we chilling. I've been purposely trying to avoid using Hercules where I can, but we brought him as like a stun, uh, stun cheese option for the path. Right, his protection is about to trigger again, so I kind of need to, like, knock him down. Oh, actually, even one hit. Yeah, and then we just went for sp uh, special two. That was perfect. That was, like, a clean first hit. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've seen, like, the first hit of a special two KO, and it just, like, punches him back like a country mile. That was pretty good. Uh, but, yeah, amazing shout there, chat, on the Immortal Hulk cheese for that path, because that was, that was brilliant. That was a really, really good one. Between, uh... Friggin' Immortal Hulk, Clairvoyant, Gamora. They've just been powering through some of these fights today. It's been fantastic. Right, okay. So I'm going to have just a quick break. I'll be right back like um, five minutes or so. And then we're going to go for Final Path and the Kang, which I never learned how to fight on my main account. But we're going to learn how to fight live on a free-to-play stream. And it's totally going to go amazingly, guys. Oh, my goodness. We got a massive uh, Thick Boy Super Chat from Warhog. Thank you very much, sir. Sucks being pay to play. Don't have time to grind for gold. Need more gold bundles. Yeah, dude. Gold and ice, though. Like, gold was starting to catch up a little bit for my um, uh, free to play as well. But, hey, you know, Kabam, if you're out there marketing team Warhod, he's got the stacks. He's ready to whale. So, let's get some more in. I mean, they are pretty much doing this thing now where they've got, you know, Cyber Monday every single month. So, hopefully, they'll have, like, uh, what is it? The March Super Gold Mega Bundles. I think they have, what is it? The Deadpools, Palooza, Doubloons thingy <laughs> coming up. <laughs> they, you know, there, there's always something. So maybe there's a lot of gold in that, you know. Uh, but yeah, thank you um, very much for the super chat there, Warhot. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Just a few minutes and then we're uh, we going for Kang. So let me uh, just top up.
All right, all right, all right. We're back for the uh, the final chapter here today. It's been a hell of a run so far, man. We've done a, a lot better than I expect again this far. But now we got to make a choice, guys. What path do we go for? And I haven't looked into any of these paths. Um, so yeah, if anybody wants to hold my hand and coach me through this, it would be very much appreciated as to what is the easiest one. I think we actually went for the... Um, the far like left hand side when I did this initially um, on my whale account. But I also, I didn't know what the final boss was. So like I also ramped up Aegon because I thought he was going to have like millions of health. And I think he's about 900k. Uh, so yeah, what, what do you guys think is the, the best path and best direction for us to go with the roster that we have? Are there any uh, cheese options or interesting interactions with like Gamora or anybody else? The Shock and Incinerate Vulnerability Path. Punisher Path. What's that one? Oh, okay. Is it is it this one? Punisher 2099. Safeguard, Quantum Immunity. Debuff Potency. Oh, okay. So what, is this the same cheese one, right? Debuff potency? Or actually that is just, uh, it's not potency we had previously, it was um, duration. Or does that does that still count? Um, yeah, we'll have a look. I'll see same as the shock path, but poisons and easier defenders and less power gain. Um... Okay, yeah, I was, I was thinking that as well. Appreciate the insight. Sorry, guys, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm just uh, getting carried by chat here. Part 2 or Night Thrasher Path for big, big specials. Just be careful of Shatter. Okay, yeah, there's no cheese because it's potency, not duration. Okay. That makes sense, though, dude. Makes sense. I think I might just go for the, the Luke Cage Path. Um, all three of those are pretty easy. Nightcrawler is not bad at all. Um... So yeah, you're right, it is just exactly the same as the previous one, but there's just poison instead of um instead of shock there. So pretty much everybody should be viable. So I need to think more about my uh, Kang team. And who I want to bring in there. So let's go team select. I think Heimdall's, you know, 100 percent staying in. Um More Hulk. I think we'll chuck on the bench for now. Bring in Hitmonkey. Um and then who else? CGR is I'm kind of making the decision I think between like Cosmic Ghost Rider and Rintra for Kang I think CGR is pretty OP because we can just get burst cycles in if needed I think he's probably safer don't think Rintra does anything like that oh plus for CGR we got the power gain as well so it makes it easier to get to certain special attacks so yeah I, I think Cosmic Ghost Rider is the option he just lacks the uh the base attack bonus but I think uh, should be good, unless anybody else has some fantastic uh, insight they'd like to chuck in. But I think, yeah, between the the four of them, we got Black Widow, Gamora, Hitmonkey, CGR. We've we got damage for for days, man. We should have some uh, some excellent reach on this, and yeah, it should be good. And I think uh, I think Gamora should be doing uh, pretty well for this path as well. We'll give it give it a try and do cage. Yeah, it's nice. I do I need to be careful of I can't just parry heavy on that fight though, right? Because of the knockdown. See, so, but I can like parry three combo, so yeah, we should be good anyway. But I think we'll start for Gamora. Let's go for boosters. Another 30% up. Um yeah, I think I only use a 30% here. It's a bit overkill for the time, but. Also chuck the uh, the health booster up for this path as well, and uh, why not XP booster just to treat ourselves? Um, let's give it a go. We should be all right. Take units with you, absolutely best champion. We'll uh, we'll see, my friend. We'll see. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about um. Well, there is a bit more power gain on this one because, uh, yeah, the poison counts for like double for redouble determination. 
not going to worry about refreshing Gamora's buffs till I get to like 30 hits on the combo. They're a bit too um, low duration at the moment. Bit caught in our trap of infinitely refreshing buffs. I can deal while Indestructible is up though. It's kind of around the right time anyway. Oh, please don't. Special three. Okay, fantastic. Dude, this Luke Cage still has a fair amount of hit points. Got a little bit going on there, eh? Right, let's refresh these buffs if we can. And I need to bait out the indestructible. Actually time in quite nicely here. Come on, where's the poison? Dude, I did not, I had such a good burst combo lined up there, but I just got no friggin' um no friggin' poison. Quick refresh on those. And then okay, poison please proc. Poison, poison. <laughs> Zero poison, dude. Come on. Again. That sucks. Lucky we didn't get stunned there, to be fair. Okay, nice. We got the poison. Look at this. Come on. Good amount of burst there. It's fantastic. I might as well just quickly refresh while Indestructible is active. And bait this out. Come on, fella. Okay, big burst window now. Come on, let's get this poison. No poison. Okay, big. We got like 100k burst there. That was that was nice. Ah, uh, we lost a lot of the buffs there. I was playing a bit too greedy. The duration on all of them now is is godly. Now we wait. Amazing strength poison there. And fight's done. Yeah, Luke Cage probably one of the most annoying there because he's like super tanky. Um, just in terms of like damage to get through. I think there's a saber tooth as well. Saber tooth's gonna be a bit of a pain. But uh yeah, we should be okay. I think saber tooth actually I'll go um cosmic ghost rider on. Um should be a little bit better, I think. We can just, what is it, uh, cancel out the healing so he doesn't heal everything back. Oh, I don't know if that's going to time in poorly. Um, we'll find out. Nope. Okay, so we charge that. And this is where we get our big burst. And actually, we, we just don't really have like much of an opportunity to even um, get that, that face seal on. Because, yeah, it just gets removed as soon as he's knocked down. So maybe I actually go for this and use this before the face seal. And then wait for the debuff immunity to end. And then quickly try and throw a heavy attack. I don't even know if that's worth it. Yeah, then we cancel out the healing for a bit, but mm, maybe maybe it's all right. It's still like a, a lot of um, all the gain damage in that window. I need to avoid those specials, man. I can't be taking this. So I'm going to get wrecked. This man is going to special three. Okay, we got Heimdall coming in. Uh, we shouldn't get bled from Saber Thief's special three. I think he has a bleed on. <laughs> we didn't have a poison on there. Really unfortunate. 
Uh, so we'd like no damage. Brilliant, mate. Brilliant. Poison? Yeah, okay, we got one on here. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, it's just the power game we're missing. Okay, right, this should uh, deal a bit. He's still, we're still kind of battling with the regen to so get him down. He's eventually dropping there. Come on, is this it? Maybe. Ah, there we go. Oh, that was a struggle uh, with the regen there a little bit. Even these fights have been a absolute walk in the park. Need to do a bit of uh, healing when we get to the boss, eh? Yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a grind this one, but we, yeah, we got this. It's in the bag. Um, thinking for some of these fights coming up. Yeah, we we should be alright. I think we'll just go good more again for this one. And then we'll figure out the rest when we get there. This should hopefully be a little bit uh, better. Also need to be a, a conscious of Thor's power gain as well. This time's brilliant though, because I don't need to play around uh what is it, Luke Cage is indestructible, dude. <laughs> that was that was a pain in the ass. Look at this. Like when we can when we don't need to be so uh precious, she's just getting the, the fight like rinsed here, mate. There was so much downtime just waiting for like the perfect lineup uh for indestructible and Luke Cage. I, I'm not even going to bother with the heavy attacks, we're just um, keeping it going. Staying aggressive. Oh, okay. Um, It's fine. Maybe. Okay, come on. Um... We're not going to get KO'd from this. I need to wait till debuff immunity is over. And then quickly strike with a special two. Oh, damn it. Ugh. Yeah, I just... I got a bit too um, confident toward the end of that. Cost me my Gamora. But that is what it is. We've been doing alright this path so far. Alright, can we get this poison up? If not, I'm going to get poison studs. And there we go. Poison, detonate, boom. The fight's gone. GG. Easy clapping. Let's move on to our next opponent. Who is... Is it Green Goblin next? Or Nightcrawler? I think Nightcrawler's next. The Nightcrawler, we're going to use uh, Claire. Just take it nice and, nice and chill. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine here. It's like um, three combos, poison when we need to apply it, maybe two combos, we'll, we'll see. And if there's a good opportunity, I'd love to just get this man into his... Um... Oh no, I didn't mean to apply the bleed. Okay, nice, we're in poison stance now. Been a bit, bit cheeky there. Hey, we got him. 
Okay, nice. Now we don't need to worry about the evade. It's perfect. And we just got like a million specials to dodge while we're getting down. We've actually done really well today. Uh, quite surprisingly on the Nightcrawler switches, man. Again, exceptionally well. Had a really uh, easy one with long shot in the last chapter. I don't even think the special attack's worth using because it gives me so much downtime uh, with the debuff mini node. So yeah, I think we just stay in poison and just stay aggressive. Come on, dude. Alright, we've got it. That should do it, I think. Unless it calculates him. In... No, we're good, we're good. It's like, unless it, like, strips the poison off before and gives him debuff immunity, but yeah. As soon as I saw 3% off the first few hits, I knew he was going down, so we're on track, man. We got two more two more fights. Goblin and um Emma Frost. And then we we begin our fun on Kang. So just a recap for Kang, guys, the strategy. Um <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh I uh let me give her a call. I think we said we're going for a walk at uh, four. Let me just share our message on Facebook. Um, and it's not what you think. It's uh, it's an innocent head of cuddles and not just purely head there. So, <laughs> uh, right. Let's uh, need about uh, 30 more meds. There we go. We've, we've pushed the walk back, boys. And let's... Uh, Smash our Green Goblin. It's my long-term partner. Thank you, guys. We've been, we've been together for nearly five years now, boys. <laughs> uh, I just need to, uh, you know, sort that abbreviation out uh, for on-stream calls. Because, you know, it, it looks uh, looking a little sus. <laughs> <laughs> we she already uh, called me a little bit earlier. I think she's she's out of town with the girls today, having um a brunch. And then we uh came from walk this evening and then spending the rest of the evening playing uh the whole world's legacy man. We've been uh, grinding that out. I think kind of same as Nightcrawler here. We just want to get into a uh, habit of... Oh, these glider evades. Uh, I did all right today, man. I did all right today. Uh, all right, come on. Another five combo. Oh, so I was going to ask before we got uh, so rudely interrupted um, about Kang. So what I need to do, right, is I just need to dodge the specials if I want power, block them if I want to dump my power, and I need to match the special I'm throwing to his, like, one, two, three. So if he's got a two up, I need to throw special two. And then if I do one, two, and three, it, it stuns him, and then I can beat in on him. Am I, am I correct in understanding that fight? Alright, let me check. Uh, 
the old Facebook messages again. Let's make sure everything's okay. I think we're good, boys. I think we get. I think we got another half an hour power through it. But still, I'm actually surprised. I thought we'd actually get a bit stuck somewhere in um, the middle of uh, this today. Right, Emma Frost, and then we're going for the big boy. So yeah, is is that pretty much it when it comes to the Kang? Could uh, anybody else got a, a TLDR on the the fight? Well, actually, I might save that energy refill because I think we can get to Kang and uh, finish this off with just. A uh, stack of these. So yeah, a bit bit unnecessary there. Or have or have that much power when the timer ends. Oh, okay, so it's like two of them. That seems pretty straightforward there. Yeah. Okay, so I don't need to launch the specials, but I need to be at it. Is is there anything else uh, on top of that that I need to be aware of? In the fight that's gonna clap me. Oh, we're getting close, man. We're getting close. I just need to play a Emma Frost fight. Well, she's, I think, the most annoying on this path because um, you need to like relentlessly dump your specials. But yeah, this is kind of where you are. I'm gonna throw that into the block. Um, I think we maybe just want to dump our specials on the block, right? Oh, dude, she's just going to go again. That sucks. You really want the arm break champion for this fight, eh? Might have to re revive up the, uh, the CGR. Because, yeah, she's throwing those special attacks like crazy, which is usually great, but we're just not getting a good uh, interval here. Uh, while the armor breaks down. Just trying to throw them into block and figure out how am I going to do this fight. Okay, there we go. We can actually get a bit of damage here. So let's block and push her to close to the special three. Okay, nice. We actually got 10% off that try. That was good. Okay, nice big damage window. And then we gotta dodge this. Oh, I actually didn't even mean to get that, but <laughs> it's kind of fun, I guess. Just waiting for uh, this to end. Oh, damn it. Okay, that was that was all right. I was getting really frustrated at first because I just couldn't figure out. It wasn't all clicking how I could get the uh, the timings in, but uh, then we got it. So it was pretty good from that point on. All right, let's use uh, level four potion. And um, I'm actually doing for this. Okay, it doesn't matter if we uh, go down with CGR here. I think I'll use a team to get up to those three. But hopefully it's not going to be needed, and hopefully we can just get it down as Strider, Cosmic Ghost Strider. I also need a second to probably figure out how to play this man on this fight. Actually, all my special attack damage should go through fine. Because it's like, I'm going to armor break. I, I just need the poison to proc. Yeah, there we go. And we can get our damage cycle. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, this is where I think I want to throw the heavy attack.
Right, let's dodge this. And then go for the specialty. Right, one more cycle, we got the poison. Nice. Okay, let's let's dodge this. Oh, okay, messed up a little bit there. Unfortunate boys, unfortunate. It's close though. Um do you wanna try and finish this for Hitmonkey? He shouldn't be too bad by Hitmonkey, right? I kinda I'm stretching a bit more vanilla out of this team revive, but let's go for it. Him, I think he slaps a fair amount on this path. Okay, nice. So we're about to push her over a special one that brings her back into telepath form, and then we can debuff her. So we just need a poison to proc, and it did. Perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we've arrived at the main event, the Kang boss. Um, do I wanna, I don't think I want to sub or swap anybody here, so we're just gonna, we're gonna continue as is, skip no choice here. We're gonna go in with Hitmonkey first. So I never learned how to properly do this fight on my whale account, I just face rolled it with Hercules, which is a, is very much a viable option for this one. Um, but not today on the, the free to play, so, uh, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna go for it, we're gonna see what we can do. Um, and yeah, I think we just need to use the corresponding special and dodge the, albeit the amount of uh, bars of power by the end of the timer. It's one of those two. Um, and yeah, we just need to do that three times and then get him stunned. So that's uh, ideally what we're looking for here. But worst case scenario, unit man and burn him down is also a uh, viable strat. Okay, I, I'm using a special one. Okay, that's that's cleared it for me. Fantastic. And then if you dodge that successfully, you actually get... Oh, do I need to be at zero bars of power? Is that telling me be at zero? I think it is. And then three's about to be next. Okay, so I need to get to three bars of power. So I need to dodge all of these beams perfectly and not die. Okay, so he actually attempted to kill me there. Heimdall was saving me. Uh, is this going to be enough, or do I need to still get one? Does he get wounded after this? Okay, because I didn't do it successfully. Oh, actually, I need to dump this. I should have really quickly dumped the special one there. I think I might still be able to get back to it. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Look at... Guys, I actually did the mechanics. I'm incredibly proud of myself that I managed to get that off. Because I don't think we had a single one of those in the, uh, <laughs> the whale account run. Okay, what are we on next? Phase two. Okay, we got the warm-up. Oh, we're straight into a uh, special three. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that. Oh, maybe I can. Yeah, let's go. Unexpected W. So there's a lot more power gain in this uh, this face than the previous one. And then what do I need to be at next? Okay, so I, I purposely bought the last one so I could get the uh, the power reduction there. Okay, I need to be at zero piles of power, so I need to dump everything. Oh, but I'm getting power back. Okay, nice. We successfully did that. We need to stay at zero. Is that what I was saying? He's crafty, this man. Okay, so we need to be at one bar of power here. Okay, nice. 
One, two, three. Okay, nice. We're back to one. We need to be at two, or use a special two, actually. This should count for, I think. Does this wound him, or do I need to be at zero? Oh, this is a sick run. <laughs> okay, um, please get wounded. I might have, still have the zero phase left. Oh, no, no, I'm changing phases now. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, dude, overall, first try, dude, that was incredible. <laughs> that was, that fight also feels so much better when you're actually trying to do it as opposed to just circling it down. So, yeah, that was great. That was really, really good. Okay, um, I didn't even use a health booster there. So, uh, let's, let's get, uh, healed up a bit just so we got enough to, um, finish off this fight in a tidy fashion here. We'll use a few of these, and let's go for uh, or five. Dude. Yeah, I, if we could just have like one more try like that, dude, the fight's over. But I'm just making sure. Got some uh, some backup options here. Um. Okay, I'm gonna use a health booster, and uh, let's also go for uh, attack one. And I'll, I might try a uh, cheeky bit more in next fight. So we can do, but what's what's chat saying, man? Clutch. Okay, we taking W's, not missing anything. Nice. Oh, you can heavy to pause the timer if needed. That's good. That's good. I didn't know that. Yeah, thanks for checking that out. I watched MSD and uh, Karate Mike's uh, solos, so learned from uh, some of the best out there at the moment. Oh, I'm fully power drained here. Oh no, okay, I totally messed up on that. Okay. Right, oh yeah, because we're in the, uh, the final phase, so everything's a little bit different now. Nice, Gamora put in some work here. We love to see it. Uh, we need to be on zero bars of power. Seems pretty easy to do this phase. Just gotta dump it. Come on. Oh, damn it, dude. Damn it. Yeah, okay. I see the challenge in that final phase because it's like the power gain isn't as much. So you've got to, um, yeah, to get to the special three, <laughs> you've got to dodge two of those. Um, not bad, though. Not bad, dude. Okay, I'm going to go hit monkey. Hit monkey a little bit blessed here. We do have some sort of pre fight ability. I'm not too sure what it is. Oh, power charges. Is that from like successfully executing or something? Uh, not 100% sure there. Right, if it's zero, we just wait around here. Just chilling. Oh, I can actually, yeah, use heavy attacks, guys. You're right, to, um... See, so you've got to get, like, two perfect, uh, SP1 evades. Ah, oh, okay, right, I'm, I'm definitely taking a bit of damage from this one. Special two, though, we can get this. Actually, dash back here. Just normally go for it. We should be good. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to use heavy attack. We can pause the timer. So yeah, heavy attacks, I think, are the key to managing it in this uh, final phase. Oh, no, I blocked instead of uh, evading that final hit. Yeah, I'm still, still trying to get fully used to the timing on that. Right, I don't know if he gets wounded after this or because I failed some, it's just going to punish me. Um, I thought I'd just use special two. Oh, did I not finish landing that and it just KO'd me? Oh, I think we're out by like a second or so. Okay, so yeah, that last phase, it just gets a lot tighter. Um, we're still doing well, we're still doing well. Just a few, few little mistakes here and there, got to sort out and we definitely want to interrupt that heavy probably after the uh, the second hit of it oh no i'm not <sighs> yeah i wasn't at the right one okay special two this knocks him down and then completes it right yeah, it was like we were seconds away from actually meeting the criteria for that one. Slightly annoying. Okay, we got the special three one. That's dope. And then what's next? Uh, zero or special one? Because we got special two. Yeah, we're, we're really close to getting him stunned now. So yeah, just, we're chilling now. That's what we need to do. Oh no! No, okay, um, that's not great. Go on, Heimdall. What a lad, what a lad. Oh, damn it, mate, damn it. Oh, so stupid. I'm frustrated myself for that, dude. That was such a easy one to avoid. And we've done the, the hard parts there as well, so. Ugh, here's what it is. Right, let's go CGR, the final weapon. Is this gonna actually tag before I get wrecked? Yeah, nice. One, two, Okay, uh, now I think we just focus on getting special three. Oh no, dude, I got I got clipped by that bit. Yeah, that special is um, a bit monstrous if you uh, get clipped because those passive stuns, man, they just chain on. Okay, nice. Let's go. Just need like one more, one more nice time lock stun, and this man is uh, going down. Okay, I need to make sure I'm on zero power here. Oh, is it still going? This fellow is about to get himself uh, stunned here. Oh no! I think we're oh, just a second too late on that one, man. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get nuked here. Ah, oh, first phase not too bad. Second phase, it's just uh, the third phase is um taking a little bit of getting used to. I don't know if he like even doesn't stun himself in this phase or something. Or maybe it is after like a certain amount of consecutive uh, one objectives. Again, I haven't really uh, taken the time to look into the finer details, but we're going for team revives just because we always have so many more of these um, uh, in overflow uh, from the side event quest bundles. But right, we got this man, we got this. He's going down, nice little trio CGR. Even just like zerging him down at this point should be should be pretty good. Actually, to be fair, like we aren't really doing like that much base damage. So yeah, maybe, maybe I should try and uh, go for the relevant objectives. 
actually he's got he's got 12 armor breaks he's on three percent there we go okay we've got the final phase which we just need to ko him now right heimdall coming in and then he goes mega charge and we can only kill him with a special oh no it didn't deal enough um <laughs> what's the criteria for KO in this man in his final phase now? Uh, I'm going to just quickly uh, not be a pleb and, uh, and read. Because the, the special one didn't seem to have quite enough. The incinerates were dealing a bit of damage there, though, so that, that was uh, doing something. Okay, so... Start this phase, he malfunctions. Oh, okay. He's immune to everything aside from special three, and both champions' power is set to zero, and then power loop is removed entirely. Okay, nice. So uh, it's a race to the special three there. Okay, cool. So special three before he does. Cheers, chat. <sighs> right, let's do it. See, ideally you want to have that that special three uh, raring to go. Uh <laughs> there we go, okay. Oh, fantastic. That should do it, right? That should do it. Chat, thank you today for coaching me through this fight. We just about got it. It was a, a phenomenal start, dude. That first try honestly was so good. It was a little bit a little bit shaky in the middle, but hey, we got him down eventually, and it felt good to actually like learn that fight and do it properly as well. Um, even if it was just for the first couple of phases, I was a little bit uh <laughs> a little bit inconsistent toward that third phase man but that was that was fun um right ladies and gentlemen i think we're gonna get two uh six star hero crystals here now so you know i thought i thought we might go for a cheeky little opening oh what also do we get oh it's a selector i'm actually gonna go for um hmm. i kind of i do want the hit monkey up there i kind of also a bit tempted for the gamora so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna start building a skill because Hitmonkey is just uh yeah phenomenal MVP as we saw uh on that first try. He's just been working out so well for me. Um and then we got the rank one to two gem and also that as well. So yeah, let's uh let's go for the crystal openings. Goodbye, offer pop up. Thank you very much. Right, for getting Kang down. What are we gonna get today? I'm gonna rapidly open some stuff here just really quickly. I've got the uh the Deadpool crystals. Uh let's see if we get anything good here. So the gold pool crystals, just a lot of gold. Just thought we'd save those for on stream. Let's have a look at the rank up gem. Uh what are we get in here? Another mystic. Okay, we got two of those now. One for America Chalice as well. And then we've got the uh 25% uh T5CC and it's science. Not bad, mate. Not bad. We're halfway toward a um uh science there, so that's pretty good. But yeah, let's go for the, the main event here. The double six-star hero crystal opening. Um, and if we could get some absolute bangers today, dude. Hulkling would be amazing. Black Cat as well. Scorpion. Uh, Nimrod. Valkyrie would be really, really good. But let's, uh, let's see what the gods are bestowing upon us for 7.3 completion. And it is going to be a six-star version of... Mole Man! Is, is Mole Man still good? <laughs> I remember there was a point where Mole Man was like friggin' amazing. And then I think they like changed something with him. Is is it still a big W, guys? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know in the live stream chat. Because Mole Man used to be Mole God. He was just the W of Ws. I, I think that, I, I hope that is still pretty damn spicy. Because that is, um yeah, that's interesting there, boys. And uh, let's have a look at the second free-to-play six-star. And it's going to be a Tiger as well, dude. I am uh, I'm not the most talented Tiger player, but hey. Give me a six-star. Our Mystic roster is pretty stacked. I'm I'm not too sure Tiger would be getting the immediate attention, although she's pretty broken if we can get really, really good at playing her. But Mole Man. Oh, chat saying big W. Big, big W for Mole Man there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to pick that one up for the... um the roster but overall man you you certainly can't knock that mole man and tiger that is a, a glorious glorious opening and also if you missed it earlier 
Uh, we took Gamora up for uh, today's run, and she was phenomenal for so many paths. So I'm really happy to have that Gamora up there. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today's 7.3 completion stream and opening. And if you did enjoy it, please do smash that like button. That'd be uh, greatly appreciated. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, take care, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And now we'll just wait a second for live streams to catch up and end. But yeah, cheers, everybody.